Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel, Chem with Jax. I am Jax the Chemist, and this is my semester update, my first semester update, of my journey to my PhD. So I am a PhD student now, and I'm working on uh, my PhD in inorganic chemistry. What I'm doing is I'm making a compound um, that is going to be a catalyst. So that is my goal for now, to make this catalyst. And I've actually already made it, uh, but a big chunk of my semester was spent trying to purify this catalyst. So before I dive into that, I'm going to talk a little bit about my day-to-day. -day. So I get here like around 5 or 6 in the morning, um, and I work until like 11 or 12, just like straight up here in the lab, just getting things done. Because I do not want to be here when everybody else is getting here. Everyone kind of arrives like at 11, 12. Um, and I just want to try and avoid that contact as much as possible because COVID. And actually, I would be wearing a mask right now, but uh, I'm not sure if you can hear me. And I am the only one here. I've been the only one here for the last three, four days. So I know that I think I'm pretty okay. Um, I will put this on right after I finish the video, though, just to, you know, extra precautions. Um, so that's my day to day. Come in early, leave pretty early. I will stay till the afternoon sometimes. It just depends on what has to get done that day. Um, but yeah. Let's uh, look at my day. Uh, going into my compound that I made, it's a catalyst, like I said. Here's a picture of a vial of me with the vial. Um, here's a close-up of some crystals that I was able to make. So I was able to actually purify this and I was able to confirm it with NMR testing, experiments, I'm sorry. And also, crystals are a sign that um, it's actually pretty pure. So I'm pretty happy with my results so far. I actually got to run another test on it. Uh, which confirmed that I actually made the compound that I was supposed to make, uh, which is cyclic voltammetry. It was a little weird working in this box because you know, I was used to working like out here in the normal area, but I had to do it through that box. So that was a weird and awesome thing to learn how to do. Um, learning how to use this box has been a pretty good challenge, that uh, to say the least, because once you put those gloves on, they're really thick and like. It's just so hard to navigate inside that box, like you knock over everything. I'm still trying to learn how to knock, not knock over things, uh, but I think I'm getting the hang of it now. <laughs> um, this box is really cool. I have to use it for all of my chemistry. Like I can't do anything out here at all. Um, so what that means is that that box is air sensitive. So there's zero oxygen in it. Or like, well right now there's about two ppm of oxygen in there but like there's like little to no oxygen in there and that's because if any water or oxygen is in that box, uh, a lot of things would decompose in that box or they could possibly explode. So uh, we don't want that. So we use this box to keep all the water and oxygen out. Um, and this is a nitrogen environment box. So you can see that big tank over there that's full of nitrogen. So it's connected to this box. It feeds nitrogen into the box. Um, this chamber right here is actually how we um, bring things into and out of the box. So uh, we vacuum cycle it with nitrogen a couple of times just to make sure that no air is in there when we open it up to bring the things in to the box. Um, but yeah, this is my home. I basically just stand there all day uh, working on my whatever I have to do. Right now I'm actually here, it's Christmas week. I'm here in the lab. I need a vacuum down, uh, some toluene for my compound. and. Halloween takes a really long time to vacuum down, so I've been here for a while now, just waiting for that to finish vacuuming off so I can go home. So um, that's a look into my <laughs> graduate school life. Um, talking about classes now, um, that was all about lab. Moving on to classes, I did take two classes this semester. I took advanced organic chemistry, and it kicked my ass to say the least. <laughs> I uh, I got to be in the class, but it was it was hard. I read every day. I listened to lectures every day. Uh, well, I think what was a little difficult, what made it more difficult was that the classes were asynchronous, and I just think online learning in general is just tough on everybody. Uh, but what that means is if you've never had an asynchronous class is that you don't have a set meet time to meet with a professor or with anybody. Um, so that was, I think, for me and my learning, that made it a little difficult. Um, but I pulled through in the end and I passed the class with actually one of the highest grades in the class because not many people actually pass the class, unfortunately. I learned that at the end. Um, let's see. I took advanced analytical chemistry, which was awesome. That one was synchronous, so we met with the professor at a certain time. And I was actually able to talk to him, and he was pretty engaging and trying to keep the class um, engaged in what he was talking about. He does know a lot of things about analytical chemistry, which is really cool. 
Um, so yeah, it was a good class with him. I got an A in the class and it was awesome. Um, that was my first semester of graduate school. Um, my first semester towards my PhD is done. I'll be updating you all a lot more. I just wanted to really get a feel for what graduate school is going to be like this semester. I have a good feel for it now. I got trained on what I needed to be trained on. And now it's just, you know, moving forward and going on with my projects. Uh, next semester I'll be taking two awesome classes, Advanced Inorganic Chemistry, which is what my focus is on, and uh, NOR um, experiments. It's a whole class on how to interpret them, which I think is going to be really helpful in the long run because that's how that's what I use to um, ensure purity of my compounds. So yeah, I'll definitely be updating y'all more next semester about my classes and uh, what I'm doing with my compound. Also, I get to pick my committee next semester and um, I'll be updating all on that and what that's like. And I'll have to start writing my uh, dissertation research proposal soon, so I'll definitely make a video about that. Um, thank you all for joining me on this journey and I really hope to see you all soon. Have a happy holidays, y'all.